Hi, I'm Jasmine from Employment Innovations. I'm going to give you a look into how Leave works in KeyPay for a payroll administrator. We'll go through the process of creating leave requests, approving leave requests, and the leave calendar as well. Let's take a look. To create a leave request in KeyPay, go to the leave icon and click on Create Requests. You can then select the employee from the drop down list and the type of leave they're taking as well. You can pop in any notes here and then select the first day of leave and then the last day of leave. If there are any overlapping leave requests, you'll see a note underneath here. Down the bottom, you'll see that my leave balance is available to view as well as any approved leave that I've already submitted. The number of hours covered in this particular leave request will calculate automatically based on the number of hours set in my employee file. If there are any attachments that need to be added, such as if someone's taking personal leave and they need a medical certificate, this can also be added here. You have the option of simply saving if you untick this box here, or if you do keep it on, you can click save and it will automatically approve the leave request. If you create a leave request for an employee who doesn't have enough leave to cover that particular leave type, you'll see that there are warnings that come up here. So this employee has a negative leave balance at the moment based on the number of hours they have approved currently. If I try and save this, it will pop up with a warning just to make sure that you want to approve the leave for someone who doesn't have enough in their balance. Let's move on to approving leave requests. To approve or decline leave requests in KeyPay, go back to the leave icon and then select manage requests. You can filter this view by the leave status, whether it's pending, approved or declined, the period of the leave, the leave category, you can group by employee or select an employee individually and also sort by location. At the moment, I'm looking at my pending leave requests. I can hover over the number of hours to view more details on the leave request. And along the side here, you can see that I have options to edit, approve, decline, or delete the leave request. If I select edit, I can alter the number of hours in the leave request and add notes, and then submit it again. If you need to decline a leave request, you can do that by clicking the X and it will ask you for a reason for declining the leave request. When you hit decline, the employee will be notified that their leave request has been declined and will include your notes as well. We'll move over to looking at the leave calendar now. So you can go there by going to the leave icon again and then clicking on leave calendar. You can filter the leave calendar by the status of the leave request, the period of the leave, the type of leave that the employees are taking, by employee and by location. If you click on a leave period, you'll be able to view the employee's leave balance against the request and any notes associated with the request. You can also use the icons to edit, decline or delete the leave request, even if it has been approved already. Leave management in KeyPay allows you to have full access to submit employee leave requests on their behalf and also approve or decline requests based on their leave balances. You'll also have greater visibility of employee availability using the leave calendar. If you'd like to know more about employment innovations and how we can help you improve your current payroll processes, please get in touch and we'll be happy to help.